In this video, I'm going to talk about a girl. This girl is none other than Sambhulalipa. I know you are coming from LinkedIn. Maybe you know this girl already because she has a crazy followers. Like 75,000 people followed her on LinkedIn. Apart from all that, during her college time, she cracked three companies: Qualcomm, JP Morgan, and the third is Microsoft, where she is working right now. So yeah, let's get to know about the journey. But there is a surprise element for you as well in the end of this video. Don't forget to watch this video till the end. Till then. Before going ahead, let me talk about the sponsor of this video. So recession is on hype these days. A lot of people lost their jobs and definitely they all are looking to get new jobs. But to get new jobs, you need skills and to learn skills these days is really costly. Like you need one lakh a laptop and then uh, you have to purchase courses which cost around like 30,000, 60,000 or something. But now your problem is solved because physics will come up with a skill segment. This skill segment is accessible to everyone. You just need to have an active internet connection and a smartphone. Also, you can able to do live projects and you can get your work experience letter. Also, you can get here job as well. And also, price is very less here. PW Skills is offering much better job ready courses for just 3200 due to Republic Day offer, which will end on 31st January. The courses which you are getting here is full stack web development, Java with system design DSA, data science, and masters. So, you can check all the skill segment in the PWK skills segment. And if you use all these courses, you will see the screen on the screen, then you will get a discount of 500. So, what are you guys waiting for? Just go and learn new skills. Yeah, so hello Arifa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you are my college senior and I am seeing you on LinkedIn from very long time. I really wanted to have you on my channel and finally this is the time so yeah, can you please give your introduction to my audience? Uh, hi, Gargi. First of all, thank you very much for inviting me. So I'm Shumbhal Arifa and I'm an ITK 2020 to pass out. As you already mentioned, I'm an ITK alumna. And uh, I'm a software engineer at Microsoft. And you can ask me more questions. I'll answer them. As you are from our college, so definitely my next question is, how's your college experience? It has been awesome from... Uh, orientation to convocation, everything has been great and in between one, I think two years of COVID, almost two years of COVID. Yeah, the journey was very remarkable. The Especially the NITK beach was awesome. Like, I loved it. I used to go almost every weekend. Yeah, that I can totally understand. So yeah, now as you have achieved a lot of things uh, during your college journey. So yeah, next question is going on that. So obviously there was a point of time where everyone started coding. So whether you start coding like before joining the college or you completely start coding from like first year or like second year. So yeah, can you keep a little bit inside on coding wala part? Yeah, I had opted for C++ in 11th and 12th. But I had no no interest in that. But um, I didn't imagine that I'll make a future in CS only. But uh, I think one of my mother's friend recommended me that I should go for this field. So that's how I started applying for that. So I got an IT Karnataka. Yeah, that was about coding in 11th and 12th. Um, yeah, after coming to college, 11th and 12th experience did help a bit in the starting. I think we had C in the first semester. So that was mostly, I felt like uh, more of theoretical and somewhat programming, but DSA was not there. Okay, we had DSA in second sem uh, in third semester, that is second year. So I started watching Jenny's lecture mostly and I did uh, DSA with Narasimha book. So with those two, I could learn the basics, but still I did not have the practice. I started exploring different platforms like uh, we had GFG uh, and then we had lead code, interview bit, code chef code, uh, then we had uh, code courses. I explored almost everything. Uh, but uh, yeah, that is not a very good practice to switch from one platform to another. Instead, I realized it very late that uh, we should stick to one single platform. So the main coding that I did was during COVID time because I got plenty of time. So I prepared for Microsoft in, you can say, six months only. Okay. So with that six months of coding, I got th thorough with coding. And I, yeah, I used that chance to prepare Microsoft. 
So uh, I have one more question. Like, have you ever been into competitive programming ever? Yes. So I used to participate in many competitions. Like, uh, like we have uh, Hashcode by Google and many different co contests that are uh, yeah that we get notified about in our college groups. So yeah, I was uh, into CP as well. But at least you have idea of CP as well. Apart from like uh, you are doing DSA on lead code and all, but you have put your hands in uh, competitive uh, programming as well, right? Now come to the next question. As you learn coding and you have practiced on different platform, so like how is your internship experience? Give little bit insight on that part. Okay, so Qualcomm was the first company to arrive in our college during internship time in my batch. Okay. So I could crack that OT round and then after that we had to prepare for interviews. We got a bit of time and I think I just uh, referred to some of the recent interview experiences from Qualcomm. Now uh, the questions were medium level so I could easily do that and yeah I got shortlisted very easily and I got the internship. Yeah that yeah. one more question before like most of the students right now who are preparing for internship so I want to know about how's your progress at that time how much you are into development how much you have done coding uh, or DSA wala part at that time so can you uh, give little bit insight on that? Okay I'll tell you from beginning in the first year only I explored everything like what all career opportunities do we have and everything and from the second year I started making projects and in the third year I made a group of friends so basically to participate in hackathons and uh, different coding competitions and all so that helped me a lot so by participating in different hackathons we could uh, get great projects for our resume so that's how I got interested in development also and I, I had projects to explain and put into my resume. When you start development wala part, either in first year or in second year? First year I was just exploring everything. In second year I made self projects like I made, uh, I watched YouTube uh, tutorials and I did hands-on trainings and all. But uh, yeah, projects like uh, higher scale projects I started in third year along with that group of friends that I had. Uh, like you, you did bit development before your internship as well, right? Yeah, at least one good project should be there that will have to put it at the top. So I had that one project. So that's really great. And after once you got the internship, then everyone got one year ka full like free wala time. So uh, what you did at that time? Okay, the, so the first thing was JP Morgan offer. So that was also a period of one month, that whole process. So it was through CFG that I scored for good hackathon that they organized. They put uh, you in a group of seven and I think seven to 10 people and you have to collaborate and make a project. So every group ha is assigned a judge as well. Okay. So we made a project uh, that is full stack. Like uh, we divided our team into design, front end and back end and even for data. So we made a very good project and they selected our project. Okay, I missed one thing. Before project, we had to give a video introduction of ourselves. So with that, I think they were looking for our communication skills. So after that only they shortlisted us. And along with that also they shortlisted us based on our resume. Then after that, I thought there will be some interviews as well. But I think uh, my team got very good reviews. The judge already noted down all the feedbacks. So that's how I got JP Morgan offer. But at the time I got JP Morgan offer, Qualcomm's result was about to come. So it was off campus, but uh, it was through college. I don't know what logic it was. But if I uh, confirm from someone in our college uh, who is involved in placement groups, so I confirmed if I'll accept this offer, will I even have the chance to accept Qualcomm's offer? So they said no. So I declined that offer and instead I accepted Qualcomm's offer. But uh, because I had time, I continued my preparation and one day I got lucky. A Microsoft recruiter contacted me on LinkedIn for applying to this uh, Microsoft Engage program and I did apply and 
yeah i got offers through that program and so yeah now let's talk about the journey of your like microsoft engage so is this engage program came for fourth year student and at what time it came and how the process of engage program started like uh, what is the first procedure to the last procedure can you give a little bit idea to the audience on engage program so i think my batch was the first batch um, who got this uh, opportunity for the engage program to get selected for a full time role before that it was only for internships so they used to contact second year and third year students for internships but uh, uh, at the time i was in final year they started hiring for full time as well through that same same program it was a long process i think it was 2 2 to 3 months of process so firstly she asked me for my resume i provided her uh, my resume and after some days uh, she uh, told me that my resume is selected so i got the online test link and i attempted that i think there were two questions in that and i could do one and a half like second question i could do partially but i got shortlisted to the next round next round was project round so it was a 28 days project so we were assigned a mentor as well so firstly uh, we were given a theme of the maps of engage um, we had to build a project based on that theme uh, building we had to discuss our idea with the mentor that we are assigned to so yeah i used to give regular updates to my mentors and uh, everything went uh, really well that uh, in that i had experience in development that wasn't very difficult for me i used django so i was best i was best confident with uh, django only so i used django to build uh, that and my mentor really liked that so in that 28 days of uh, microsoft engage project uh, one issue was that uh, we had our finals also and sense so i had to manage both uh, obviously i gave priority to our project because that was my career part but uh, yeah i didn't neglect our ensense also and this thing i uh, informed my mentor as well because it is very important to communicate such uh, issues that we face after the project round uh, we were waiting for our uh, result so i think uh, 300 to 350 people made, made the project and uh, among them i think 60 got shortlisted for the interview round around 60 so i was luckily one of them okay so how is the interview round so there were uh, three interview rounds i remember and in each of the rounds we were asked two questions the questions were medium hard level and it went fine for me yeah, that's that i can totally understand okay so uh, like once you got the offer in microsoft now i want to know your experience like right now you are working in microsoft from like <laughs> how many months it has been a uh, seven and a half months oh so definitely you have good experience of working as a corporate employee as well so i want to know what is the difference like you feel working as a corporate employee and like as a college student college is chill i think corporate is also chill i am liking both to be to be honest because i got a very good team and a very good manager so i'm liking it here and college was also fun especially being in a hostel was uh, a lot of fun but the exam time was uh, a bit of pressure and there was a lot of competition out there so this is the main difference that i feel in college uh, everyone around us thinks that we are most of us uh, think that th- that person is our competition so that gets sometimes suffocating for you but uh, in corporate it is not like that in corporate uh, we collaborate and we work together to achieve something this is the best thing that i feel about corporate work so yeah now <laughs> yeah. i can get a vibe that you are enjoying the your corporate life as well so this is actually so the good work culture of microsoft definitely a lot <laughs> yeah i'm visiting my multiple mics of offices i also post on linkedin about it so yeah as we have already talked about linkedin so yeah most of the people know you from linkedin because you are a content creator on linkedin and you have a huge followers of like 17 70000 people are go followed you on linkedin so definitely i want to ask the next question like how did that idea come in your mind like to join linkedin to become like a part time like uh, you just write some content on linkedin how we all that happened like content creation wala part okay so uh, when i was in the second year so we started this uh, student organized hackathon called hackers i think you must know about it 
Yeah. So I was one of the organizer of hackers uh, and I managed the content team. So there I uh, started gaining interest in the content and uh, I was a volunteer for engineer fest. So there also I managed a bit of content. Uh, yeah, the content which goes out to different college. And I also volunteered for more such activities like uh, outreaching and everything. So that's how I gained a bit of interest in content writing. So I like uh, writing from there, but I hadn't like posted uh, much on LinkedIn until I joined Microsoft and I visited one of the Microsoft offices uh before joining Microsoft so I had a story of that so I thought uh, yeah let's um uh, let's post about it and people really liked it yeah that and went viral I, I think I should... that went viral <laughs> yeah after that I, I started posting more things like preparation resources and uh, interview tips and everything so yeah I maintained that consistency and got a lot of love Definitely that I can totally say a lot of people who are watching you are really an inspiration from where you have started. Okay, Arifa, now we come to our last segment and this segment is a really surprise for you because I haven't informed you before. This is a rapid fire round. So yeah, are you ready for this round? Yes. So without thinking, you have to give the answer in like just 30 seconds. So the first question is how you have spent your first salary, like first salary which you got from any company or from anywhere, how you have spent that? I got this chair. Oh, that's right. That's <laughs> it, was really very, nice. it was very less. It was very less, actually. I worked in a startup in sec okay. after second year. So. Okay, that's really nice. Okay, if you're not a software engineer, what else you want to pursue? Something in tech. Like some something in thing tech in only. Tech. Okay. Yeah, I could uh, be a content writer. <laughs> That's the point. Uh, like that, that's uh, I'm thinking back in the mind. Like you are going to say like I could be a content writer. Okay. What surprised the most about your job? I didn't expect it to be a very like to be this chill. Like the culture is very good and okay, chill. Work culture. So I everything is new to me and everything is surprising to me. So yeah, I think more surprises to come. We got a lot of goodies as well. I didn't expect that also. And what is the worst thing uh, you feel about corporate life? There is nothing such like everything is good only. Okay, so right now everything is fine for you, right? Yeah. The last question is like, what is your Monday motivation? Luckily, my team and especially my manager understands that thing. So we have a Monday meeting very late. So that's why we get on. Yeah, we can wake up late and it's chill actually. That I understand. Okay, Arifa. So this is the like rapid fire round. I hope I won't disturb you much. And at this point, I'm going to end this interview. But yeah, one thing I want to ask, like, what are the one advice you want to give for my audience? Because my audience are especially the college students who are preparing for somewhere. As you all are in college, you have so many opportunities to explore. And if you're from a good college, the best thing you can take from that college is the network. So you can contact your um, seniors or you can even help your juniors you can ask for your career paths and you can utilize that and you have several clubs there as well so make sure you utilize such uh, things that you are getting so chance uh, don't miss those opportunities and uh, make sure you participate in hackathons you just don't simply waste your time in uh, in travel and everything that is a requirement for sure but uh, make sure you Partic you push yourself to participate in hackathons and in coding competitions and everything and yeah make sure you make a career by the end of your college and i'm really glad that i did this interview a lot of people out there learn a lot of from you so yeah at this point we are going to end the interview